Atomic Heart will run at 4K and 60 frames per second on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm sure you've heard about Atomic Heart. This game is coming out on February 21st on Xbox, uh, PlayStation and PC, current gen and last gen consoles, of course. And on current gen consoles, uh, this game will run at 4K and 60 frames per second at the same time. Now, uh, this game, well, which you can actually see the gameplay of right now in the background, uh, I'm getting this sort of a Bioshock kind of vibe and I can't really wait to play this game because I did enjoy Bioshock games and it's a FPS shooter with a very unique art style as well. So not only this game look good, but also it, uh, well, it's interesting, like, you know, very refreshing, I would say, at least in terms of like art style, I guess, right? And um, um, developers did confirm some of the specs, some of the performance and resolution uh, specs. So this is a tweet from uh, Walter White who asked developers, will the game have 60 uh, FPS 1440p mode on console, right? And developers did say that it will be solid 60 frames per second, 4K in dungeons and dynamic resolution, mostly 4K at 60 frames per second in open world. Next gen, of course, so he was referring to Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 versions and I would say Xbox Series X version, right? Because I would not expect 4K 60 on Xbox Series S. But that's another story for on Xbox Series X, I'm sure. And um, it's actually quite refreshing to see developers actually confirming that kind of specs because like you know after like late last year uh you know the the like uh, the 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 end of last year where there was quite a lot of games that uh, did run at like you know 4k 30 or 1440 1440p 30 there was quite a lot of talk about oh maybe these next gen systems well current gen systems in really uh not really that powerful maybe they can't handle you know 4k 60 gaming and it looks like uh, that's not really the case because um yeah this game will have these corridor like kind of levels when when you are in some sort of base or under um uh, you know <laughs> they said dungeons but uh, some corridors uh, situations right in a, in a base or something but then again you will have some open world areas uh, so it looks like in both cases we will be getting 4k at 60 frames per second at the same time and yes according to developers open world sections will have dynamic 4k so depending on the load depending on uh, what's going on on the screen we may be getting some uh, resolution drops so it will be dy dynamic 4k but still 4k right and i don't mind really so it's, it's actually good to hear that developers actually kind of taking a proper advantage of these consoles i'm not saying that this particular de developer that they will take a full advantage of both consoles. I don't think they will. Uh, it's still a cross-gen title, from what I've heard. Uh, so, but anyway, it's still good to see that when it comes to these uh, current-gen consoles, Xbox Series S, X, and PlayStation 5, that developers uh, kind of did tap into the actual, uh, well, you know, some of the performance game, you know, kind of... Um, uh, resources uh, in these consoles to deliver sharp and uh, stable 60 frames per second as well. I also remember an, uh, an interview from, um, uh, you know, coming from uh, probably gaming gamingbolt.com as well, uh, where they were talking about the fact that the, the, this game will be well optimized on the large gen consoles as well. So it looks like it's, it's a, you know, quite hefty effort overall for all platforms, not only these um, uh, current gen consoles. But anyway, listen, I'll be playing this game probably on Xbox. Uh, I will be giving a try on PC as well, just to see how that runs and stuff, especially after 
my upgrade lately on PC. So guys, um, very good news. Looking forward to Atomic Heart. By the way, it's coming to Game Pass Day 1 as well. So that's, that's a big win for us as well. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, check Atomic Heart. A very, very unique gameplay, very unique graphics and art style. I'm really looking forward to it. So guys, that's the video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.